dances, whether it is music, whether it is the ancient language of, called Sanskrit. This is considered as one of the mother languages in the world. And then certainly yoga, meditation, Indian, Indian cuisine, Indian, um, Indian attires, especially you know, the costumes, the garments, uh, Indian fashion of late uh, in, the, in recent years. So there is a lot that is in this 5000 Indian architecture. Mm. I can only show them what we have. Mm. Mm. And thereafter, it is their judgment because mm. it's a very competitive world. You've got so many cultural influences. Mm. But because of these factors that I mentioned, uh, we find that there is a growing interest we were there for three days and everybody was talking about it. Young men were talking about it. Old, uh, you, and I, we were pleasantly surprised to see what a rage it was. So, and, and Brazil, we have a very small Indian population. So, basic point is, I, for example, I like Chinese food. Mm. Nobody forced me to. Mm. I have choice of 10 other cuisines in the world. Mm. But I like Chinese food. Because so I, I eat Chinese food. And I'm always reminded of a beautiful uh, saying by uh, one of the great poets of India, mm. uh, uh, Mr. Tagore. He used to say, and the saying is very popular, that the mind, human mind, yeah. should be like a room where there are doors and windows on all the four sides, yeah. north, south, east and west, uh -huh. which should be open uh -huh. so that the winds of culture from mm. all four directions of the world mm. Mm. can enter the room mm. or enter the mind. I find that there is an increased interest amongst the younger people in our own traditions to know how we used to do things, culture and everything. Uh, I'll give you an example. When 10 years ago, I left on the foreign assignment and I'm coming back after 10 years now. Uh, that time, uh, many of the halls where Indian classical performances would take place would be more or less empty. Today they are full. More people and younger people are coming to see those performances of Indian dances, Indian music, classical music, everything. And I think that this is completely different from what I saw in China. We have never stopped any culture from coming into India. Um, Our, we have been open to all different kinds of culture. So the Western culture comes into India. We have had a culture from West Asia into India. We have had, we have had culture from Japan into India. They all come here, they all mix and they all grow together. And this is where what I said before is important. If you close yourself culturally, then you will have a problem because other cultural influences will overtake your own culture. But if you keep your culture open, if you allow others to interact with your culture, then you will have a new thought, new process coming which will probably be even more beautiful.